Peace and blessings to all. Peace and blessings to all. This is Imani with your 430 Restorative Yoga. <clears throat> um, we um, want to make sure that uh, we make a good use of props. So if you have sensitive knees or a sensitive lower back, you can uh, grab a couple of throw pillows for underneath the knees uh, when we're on, on kneeling poses. Um, and these can also slip underneath the uh, lower back in reclining poses. May be sitting on the side of your bed, or it could be on um, yoga mats, or it could be uh, in a chair, whatever is comfortable for you. But in any case, find your comfortable seat, sit up nice and tall, let your shoulders relax down from your earlobes, Draw your navel in just a little bit to engage the abdominal muscles and take pressure off of the lower back. And you can close your eyes all the way or halfway <clears throat> or gaze at the floor space at the front edge of your mat. And we start to turn our focus into the natural breath. We're not changing anything. We're just bringing our attention to how we are naturally breathing in and breathing out. You wanna notice if your breath is uh, choppy, if it's kind of fast. Um, you also wanna notice whether or not as you're breathing in and breathing out, you feel any aches, any pains, any twinges anywhere in the body. Uh, throughout this practice, um, if I'm talking uh, maybe a little bit too fast, you follow your breath. Um, also, if you need a, um, a break in between repetitions, then you take a resting breath, which is just breathing in and out without moving at all. So eyes closed or um, all the way or halfway. Let's start to mentally count to three or five as we slowly inhale. Maybe letting the abdomen be relaxed enough so that it inflates, that air uh, <clears throat> causes the heart to lift as the spine lengthens up through the crown, but also the spine is lengthening down through the tailbone, legs, and feet. As you exhale, you're drawing your navel in a tiny bit more strongly, relaxing down your shoulders more, relaxing your hips more into, your, into whatever you're sitting on, all the way um, relaxing through the legs and the feet, as well as uh, relaxing the arms and the hands. They can rest on the thighs or in the lap. So we're going to uh, explore each way through the legs down to the feet and of course the arms and hands relax into um, the lap. Maintain that same uh, mental count of three as you are exhaling. Slow inhale. 
Draw in the navel, slow, slow exhale. And as we are slowly breathing in and slowly breathing out, let's <clears throat> hone in our focus. Let's stop um, thinking about or focusing on the recent past, what has already happened earlier today or uh, earlier this week. Let's um, stop. to your inhales and your exhales, keeping them smooth and slow if you can, and trying to make them smooth and a little tiny bit slower on the exhale. <clears throat> Two more rounds, follow your breath. Just make the inhale slow and try to make the exhales just a tiny bit slower. Yoga is all about union. The easiest way to unite with um, others that are practicing at the same time is through chanting. But everyone's not comfortable with chanting. So we can create a vibrational sound through humming. And um, if you're not comfortable with that either, then you can remain silent and listen to your own inner vibration, which is the same as the vibration of the universe. So I'm going to chant. You can hum along or remain silent and listen as um, we unite in three rounds of OM. Slow inhale. Mm -hmm. Slow inhale, even slower exhale. Throughout the practice, if you feel um, like you want to sigh or moan or even groan, those are all healing sounds because they create vibration inside the body, breaking up mucus, um, increasing circulation to the internal organs. <laughs> and um, it can lift the mood. So let's um, add some movement to our slow inhales and our slow exhales. Sitting up nice and tall. We <clears throat> let the fingertips uh, come down um, beside, along the sides of the body. And as we inhale, we're gonna reach the fingertips forward and then up overhead. Slow inhale. Looking up at the thumbs is your most gentle back bend. Draw in the navel, slow exhale. You can watch the thumbs slowly float down. We're gonna do two more. See how slow you can go. Count to three or five as you slowly inhale. 
Draw the navel in. Maintain that same count as you reach forward and exhale the fingertips back toward the earth. Third time's the charm. Slow inhale, reaching forward, then up, gazing up, drawing the navel, slow exhale. All right. <clears throat> Let's bring the fingertips to the, um, the round of the tops of the shoulders and bring the elbows out to the sides. And we're gonna do some, uh, some uh, flexion for the um, shoulders as well as um, moving the elbows and the arms. We inhale for half of the circle and we exhale for the second half of the circle. Slow inhale, elbows come up. Draw on the navel, slow exhale, elbows come down and around. One more time, inhaling. Draw on the navel, exhaling. And we're gonna reverse two times. Inhaling, rolling back and up, draw on the navel, Exhale, coming forward and down. One more time, inhaling, back and up. Draw on the navel, exhale, forward and down. All right. <clears throat> inhale, shrug the shoulders, draw on the navel, exhale, let them float down. You're in control of the body. Inhale, draw in the navel, exhale. One more time, inhale, shrug, draw in the navel, slow exhale. All right. <clears throat> Let's go for some uh, waist circles. Again, we're Inhaling for the front half of the circle, and we're exhaling and tucking for the second, the back end of the circle. So planting the feet, inhaling, left to front, exhaling, drawing in the navel as we come around the right and tuck at the back. One more time, inhaling, present the heart, Draw on the navel as you come around and tuck. Come back to center. Take a breath. And let's reverse the direction. Inhaling, we swing around to the right and present the heart at the front, the circle. Draw on the navel as you come around the left and tuck at the back. One more time, inhaling. Present the heart, draw in the navel and tuck as we come around to the left and back. And back to center. Let's take a couple of side bends. You can um, plant your right hand beside the hip or if you're sitting um, if you're sitting in an elevated seat, to the uh, to point your the fingertips point toward the earth. We inhale and reach the left fingertips out to the side and then up. Draw in the navel and as we exhale, up and exhale the left hand back down. Second side, <clears throat> inhale, reaching the right fingertips out and then up. 
Draw in the navel. As you exhale, reach up and then over, really trying to open up the obliques. Inhale, halfway up, draw in the navel, exhale, and take a little bit deeper side bend. Inhale all the way up, exhale, let those right fingertips reach out and then down. All right, let's bring the soles of the feet together, if that's available to you. Knees are out to the sides. <clears throat> Sitting up tall, draw in the navel, protect the back. <clears throat> We're going to um, take our right hand and turn to the side place it outside, palm up, outside the, the left knee. Left hand is going to be at the sacrum, hence the bent elbow, or behind the um, left hip. We inhale, lift up through the heart, up through the crown, draw in the navel as you exhale, Turn the navel and the heart to the side. Inhale, lengthen straight up. Draw in the navel, slow exhale, turning the navel, then the heart, and then maybe the neck, if that is available to you, to look over your left shoulder. Take an extra breath here. And as you inhale, release and turn back to center. As you exhale, allow yourself to relax through the shoulders, the hips, all the way down through the legs and the feet. Second side, left hand, palm up, outside <clears throat> the right knee, right hand at the sacrum or behind the right hip. Inhale, lengthen, both directions, draw in the navel, and as you exhale, turn the navel, then turn the chest. Inhale, lengthen, up through the crown, draw in the navel, exhale, turning the navel, the chest, and maybe looking over your right shoulder. Stay here for an extra breath. Inhale, exhale. Next inhale, release and turn back forward. Exhale, relax through the shoulders, the hips, all the way down the legs to the feet. Take an extra breath. Bring the feet back flat on the mat and we can come down to hands and knees. Again, bring <clears throat> cushion under the knees. Knees come straight down <clears throat> from the hip sockets. We are drawing the back of the, um, the ears up <clears throat> to keep the uh, neck in neutral. We're drawing in the navel to keep the abdominals engaged. As you inhale, let's extend the right foot back to about hip height or it can be lower. Toes can hover just above the um, just above the earth, or if you need to, they can touch down. 
As you exhale, drawing your navel, <clears throat> ground through the palms of the hands, relax through the shoulders, not allowing the, um, them to hunch up to the ears. <clears throat> Everything that is touching the earth is grounding. On your next inhale, extend your left fingertips straight ahead. Draw on the navel as you exhale. Relax through the shoulders, try not to hunch. Take an extra breath. Exhale and cat tuck. And we're back in neutral for a breath. Next inhale, extend <clears throat> the left foot, hip height or even lower. Or if you have to, toes on the, on the ground. As you exhale, let everything relax toward the earth. Everything that's touching the earth grounds into the earth. Next inhale, right fingertips reach forward. Draw in the navel, relax through the shoulders, ground through the Inhale, flat back. Exhale, sit the hips to the heels. Inhale, lift the heart. Draw in the navel. Exhale, bring down the forearms. Stack the fists and rest the forehead. Take two breaths. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Since your abdomen is pressing into your thighs, <clears throat> when you inhale, you're going to feel the lower back and the side ribs inflate. Draw in the navel as you exhale. Feel the contraction. Feel the grounding as the heart maybe relaxes a bit more toward the earth. One more breath. Tuck the chin, reach the fingertips out. Tuck the toes under. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Draw the navel in, and as you exhale, lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog, just for a breath. Inhale, lengthen. Draw on the navel and slowly let the knees float back down as you exhale. And we're back. <clears throat> in a downward puppy pose. Let me scoot back a bit. Downward puppy. Hips are high, arms are extended, head is um, aligned or parallel to the upper arms, and the hips are reaching back. On your next inhale, float the shoulders forward for a modified plank pose. Keep those, <clears throat> keep the navel drawn in, keep the abs engaged. <clears throat> Exhale, relax through the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, 
Draw the hips back, downward puppy. One more time. Inhale, forward, the shoulders forward for modified plank. Draw in the navel, exhale the hips back, downward puppy. Take an extra breath. Let's glide forward. <clears throat> and as we um, exhale this time, bend the elbows and let the abdomen and the heart and the chin come to the earth. Hands are underneath the shoulders, fingers are spread wide, elbows are close to the ribs, um, toenails and tops of the feet are on the, on the mat. Take an extra breath here. And we're gonna go for a low cobra. A chin, touch the earth. You can take an extra breath in between repetitions. Exhale, chin, heart and chin back to the earth. Take an extra breath if you need it. <sighs> All sighs, moans and groans are loud. Inhale, maybe a medium cobra this time. Draw on the navel, exhale, bend the elbows, heart comes down, chin comes down. Take that resting breath. One more time, inhaling, medium cobra, a little bit of weight in the hands, draw in the navel, slow exhale as the elbows bend, heart comes down, chin comes down, resting breath. Last one, go for the full cobra if, um, if you can. If not, keep it low or medium. Inhaling. Pelvis comes off the floor. If you're in full cobra, draw in the navel. Exhale, bend the elbows. Everything slowly comes down. One little bit at a time. Resting breath. Stack the hands in front of you. Turn your um, head to the to your right and rest. Allow yourself to relax into the earth, especially your left ear onto your stacked, onto your stacked hands. Switch sides, turn gaze to the left, rest the right ear on the stacked hand, Lift the head, bring the forehead to the, to the stacked hands, tuck in the chin slightly, and take two breaths. Let's 
Very gently, bring the hands back underneath. the hips back to the heels, head lowers to, um, to align with the upper arms, heart hovers over the mat, and you are looking toward your heart. Take a couple of breaths. Extended child's pose. Chin, slowly begin to walk the hands back toward the knees, allowing the shoulders to come over the hips. We're standing on our knees. <clears throat> We're standing on our knees. <sighs> shoulders are relaxed down from the earlobes. Bring our hands to the sacrum, fingertips pointing down. We inhale, abdomen inflates, heart lifts, spine lengthens up through the crown, draw in the navel, and as you exhale, draw the pelvis forward and relax the shoulders back. Chin to chest and gaze forward. Inhale, come up a little bit, lengthen, draw in the navel, exhale, pelvis forward, shoulders back, gaze forward, chin closer to the chest. Inhale, shoulders over the hips, exhale, palms to the earth, right under the shoulders. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat tuck. One more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat tuck. Back to a neutral spine. Draw in the navel, relax through the shoulders. And we'll go for a bit deeper camel pose. We're doing, in case you haven't uh, guessed it, we're doing heart openers using back bends. <clears throat> this time, we're going to place the fingertips to the shin, left fingertips to the shin or the heel. Draw in the navel, protect the back. Take a breath here, inhaling, lifting the heart, draw in the navel, protect the back, exhale, relax the sh through the shoulders. Tuck the chin, inhale up, hand can come to the sacrum, exhale, navel draws in, fingertips float down. And we switch sides, fingertips to the Shin, <clears throat> the calf. Inhale, left fingertips forward and up. Draw in the navel. As you exhale, press the pelvis forward. Relax the shoulders back. And you're looking straight up at your fingertips. Inhale, lift the heart a bit more. Exhale, relax through the shoulders. 
Still looking up at your fingertips. Bring the right hand to the sacrum. Inhale. Shoulders up, chin to the chest. Exhale, navel in. And the hand floats down. Inhale. Lift through the heart. Draw in the navel. Exhale. Hands to the earth, right underneath the shoulders, fingers spread wide, <clears throat> grounding through everything that is touching the earth. Inhale to cow. Exhale, take a cat tuck. Mm. Let's walk the knees to our right and sit the hips down to the left, spin the feet around. We can move our cushions out of the way if we need to. <clears throat> Shake through the knees. <clears throat> We're inhaling, pointing the toes. Drawing in the navel, and as we exhale, we flex the feet. We just do that one more time. Inhale, <clears throat> point, draw in the navel, exhale, flex. Ankle circles, inhale for half the circle, draw in the navel, and exhale for the second half of the circle. One more time, inhaling, front half, draw in the navel, exhale, second half. Reverse, inhale, Draw in the navel, exhale, second half of the circle. Wide, exaggerated circles. Shake through the knees. Let's place the hands um, alongside the hips. Press into the hands. And as um, you inhale, lift the hips enough to slide them close to the heels. Exhale as the hips touch down. Inhale. Lengthen, exhale, come on to the elbows and then the back. Take a moment here, take a resting breath. Feel the lengthening of the spine on the inhale. Feel the grounding of the back body, side body and front of the body on the exhale. Let's take another breath. As we inhale, abdomen inflate, heart and crown lift up, tailbone and legs extend down, draw in the navel, and as you exhale, relax through the shoulders, um, the, low, um, the hips, the feet, and the back of the head. Inhale, arms out to the side, palms down, Draw in the navel, exhale, one knee and then the other knee toward the chest. Inhale, feel the spine lengthening up through the crown and straight down through the tailbone. As you <clears throat> exhale, draw in your navel and bring the knees down toward your right hand. Bring in Cushions underneath the knees if you need them. As you exhale, relax through the shoulders, both shoulders into the earth <clears throat> the, and the right side of the body and the legs. Inhale, abdomen inflate. Because we're twisted, we feel it more in the lower back and the side rib, left side ribs. As we exhale, draw in the navel, ground through the both shoulders.
center. As you exhale, feel your lower back and your hips and your shoulders relax into the earth. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown and down through the tailbone. Draw in the navel and as you exhale, bring those knees down on the left side toward your left wrist. Bring your prop with you. Relax through the shoulders, the left side of the body and the legs. Inhale, inflate the abdomen, inflate the right side ribs. As you exhale, <clears throat> draw the navel in, relax through both shoulder blades, the left side of the body and the right ear. One more breath. Take your time. Inhale your gaze and your knees back to center. Exhale, take hold of the shins. And as you exhale, draw that navel in and hug the knees a little bit closer to the heart. Inhale, abdomen pushes the thighs away and the legs straight, uh, the arms straighten. Draw in your navel. Exhale, making space for the elbows to bend and the knees to come closer to the heart. One more time, inhaling, lengthening, drawing the navel, exhaling, grounding. Last one, I promise. Inhale, this just feels so good. Drawing the navel, exhale. Try to keep your knees close to your heart as you inhale your hands back to the earth. Feet together. Press the soles of the feet together. Open the knees. Bring in your props underneath the thighs. If you don't have pillows, you have fists. Mm. And take three breaths. The whole time, the soles of your feet are pressing together. Inhaling, abdomen inflate. bit more and your shoulder blades sink into the earth and the back of your head sinks into the earth. One more breath, inhaling, exhaling. Bring the feet slowly back to earth, soles of the feet, inner thighs, draw the legs back toward each other. on one side, I do on the other side. Just lift it and then place it back down. And then both hips, a little tuck, and then back down. Looking to the right, if there's any stiffness in the neck, 
And then looking to your left, just to take out any extra tension in the neck. And then we're back in center. Core of the body in case you get a little chilly. Um, open the palms in a mudra of receiving and giving and allow yourself to relax, letting go of um, controlling the breath, going back to the natural breath. Just two more minutes, two minutes of stillness. Back to the natural breath. Notice how it's flowing now. Is it smoother? Is it deeper? Is it more relaxed? Notice if you feel any twinges anywhere. Any little aches, any little pains anywhere? If so, shift around a little bit and let yourself settle. On your next inhale, visualize that you are sending extra oxygen to those places that are still offering you resistance. And allow yourself to be still for another 90 seconds. You stay still. I'm going to move and get a quote for our guided meditation. Ancient Kemetic or Egyptian proverb on health. Honesty to the soul. Develop your spirit that it may gain strength to control the body and follow the natural laws of nutrition and hygiene, unquote. And the second one, yield not to emotion, for there are discarnate forces around us who desire emotional existence. In the heat of passion, one surrenders to the influence of these. <clears throat> Ill health and unwise living results. Through firm instruction, one can master one's emotions and these forces. In this, make them serve one. Thus, the slave becomes the master. And that is the point of yoga, self-mastery. Bring your awareness back to your body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, a couple of wrist circles, a couple of ankle circles in each direction. As you inhale and exhale, take a deep stretch like you just woke up this morning. Inhale, exhale, deep stretch. One more. Inhale, exhale, deep stretch. <sighs> Taking your time, gently roll to your left side and take a breath. Slow inhale, slow exhale. Place your right hand on the earth in front of your heart. And as you inhale, roll up from the side. And find your... Shoulders are relaxed down, hips are grounded. 
As you inhale, reach out to the sides and gather everything that is ma'at, truth, righteousness, <clears throat> love, justice, peace, equity, respect, justice for yourself as well as others. Draw in the navel and slowly exhale your affirmation, wish, prayer for yourself and others into your heart. Press the thumbs into the center of your chest, which is the location of your spiritual heart. Inhale, let your heart lift up to meet your affirmation, wish or prayer. Draw in the navel and as you exhale, bow to your true, highest and divine self. Namaste, Amun. Thank you so much for joining me for Restorative Yoga on Wednesdays at 4.30. The, the Senior Center will be reopened. Enjoy the rest of your evening and the rest of your week. Blessed be.